My name is Johann Bosch van Rosenthal, and I advise buyers and sellers in the art market. My business has taken me to many special places around the world, and I've dealt with many beautiful works of art. But I could never have imagined the exceptional experience caused by a call from an elderly lady in 2019. She rang to ask if I could visit her to discuss the future of her collection. So I made the long trip to her remotely situated country house in Central Europe. There I met a charming, energetic woman in her 80s, surrounded by her dogs and cats. She took me on a tour of the extensive house and showed me many works of art, some acquired, some inherited, each with its own history. We reached a room with a number of Chinese works of art inherited many years ago. Her four cats walked around freely among these. She pointed out a polychrome and partly gilded Chinese vase on a cupboard, a cherished object which she knew to be something special and valuable. While I'm not a specialist in Chinese works of art, I noticed that this was no ordinary Chinese vase. I carefully took it down, and because of the dust on its surface, only then I noticed the reticulated lower part of the vase, through which I could see the blue and white vase inside. The highly refined decoration was extraordinary, the form intriguing. Never before had I come across such a vase. No, this was indeed something special, and the marks at the bottom reminded me of marks seen in special catalogues of auctions of imperial Chinese porcelain taking place in Hong Kong. I asked the owner if I could take some photos for further research and sent these to Nicholas Zhao at Sotheby's in Hong Kong. He rang back the same day and was very excited. Soon after, he made his way to Europe to see the original and confirmed that this was a highly important Yang Shai vase with seal mark and period of Chen Long. This vase really embodies the glorious times and the extraordinary emperor for whom it was produced. Once Sotheby's had finished their research, it was clear that this vase had a matching record in the archives of the Imperial Household Department workshop dating it to 1742. Not only that, this vase also came from the collection of Sir Harry Garner, who had sold it at Sotheby's in London in 1954. Here was truly a treasure rediscovered 